Hello, you're very welcome to Storytime here with Elga from the Community Library and it's lovely to see you all and a very special welcome to everybody watching this video. Today we're going to have a very special book um, and it's a lovely story that we can share by a, a great author. And we'll start with our little song about a story. One, two, three. If you're ready for a story, shout hooray, hooray. If you're ready for a story, shout hooray, hooray. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, shout hooray, hooray. Well, our story today is The Odd Egg by Emily Gravett. Now this is such a lovely story and it's ideal for all ages. Your baby will love this story and indeed your toddler as well. Now Emily Gravett is an English author. She is very popular and many of you may be already familiar with some other books that she's written. And in fact the very very first picture book that she wrote was called Wolves and it won the Kate Greenaway Medal. Now that's a very prestigious award and to think this was her very first book, Wolves, and she won the medal. And that was shortly followed then by, you might know the book, Little Mouse's Big Book of Fears. And that won the Kate Greenaway Medal as well. Very, very popular author. Her favourite um, subject at school was art. So she, not surprisingly, she illustrates all her own books, writes them and draws all the pictures. There was also a very famous book called Orange, Pear, Apple, Bear. Just those four words that are mixed up throughout the book, which is really a play on words. And she also wrote a book called Cave Baby with Julia Donaldson. Uh, Julia Donaldson, very famous for that uh, book, The Gruffalo. So they've worked together on a book. And she also wrote um, Monkey and Me, and that won the Book Trust's Best Emerging Illustrator for children up to five years old. So she is a very, very famous uh, writer. You might know Matilda's Cat, Spells, Dogs, The Rabbit Problem. Wolf Won't Bite. There's so many books that she's written. Um, Old Hat, Blue Chameleon was one of the first that I came across as well, and also Tidy. So a wonderful author and a great illustrator as well. So The Odd Egg. All the birds had laid an egg, all except for duck. And here we see all the birds. We have a robin with his little red breast, and there's the egg in the nest. We have Mrs. Hen clutching her egg. We have Mrs. Parrot holding her egg. We have Mrs. Owl. And Mrs. Owl is reading a book. Very, very clever. Mrs. Owl reading it so that little baby owl will hear every word. And then we have Mrs. Flamingo and a big egg. But poor duck, no egg. Then duck 
found an egg. He thought it was the most beautiful egg in the whole wide world. My goodness, that's such a big egg, isn't it? And green dots all around it. I wonder what could be inside that egg. All the birds certainly didn't think that was the nicest egg in all the world. Here we have Mrs. Owl saying, that egg is odd. And Mrs. Hen, hee hee. And Mrs. Part, not pretty. And Mrs. Flamingo, ha ha. And Mrs. Robin, they'll never hatch. sitting on this big egg. There. Creak. Creak. <gasps> Yuck. There's Mrs. Robin's little baby Robin has come out of the egg. Tweet, tweet, tweet. And then, creak, crack. Are you ready? Ready, steady, go. <gasps> chip, chip, chip. Look at the little baby chick. And Mrs. Hen is so proud and so happy. Ready, steady, go! Look, there is Baby Owl. Oh, a very, very clever owl. Multiply by 2 equals 4. Divided by 39 minus 8. Multiply by 26 plus 6. Multiply by 6 plus... Plus ooh divided by ooh equals ooh. Oh, a very, very clever owl. All that reading helped so much for a baby owl. Creak, crack. Oh, ready, steady, go. Look, it's baby part. I'm a pretty boy. And there's Mrs. Part, so proud and holding up a mirror. And then we have Creak, Crack. Oh, look, there's a bigger egg. Oh, ready, steady, go. And Mrs. Flamingo is so proud of baby Flamingo. Oink! Oink! All the eggs had hatched. All except for ducks. Oh, there's Duck. So sad watching every other bird hatch from the egg. waited for his egg to hatch. He waited and waited and waited. And look, there is Doug knitting a big scarf. And little duck booties. And there's Mammy Owl reading again to Baby Owl. Special Egg Spotter's Guidebook. All waiting.
for the big egg to hatch. Until I wonder what could be inside the egg. What do you think is in the egg? Ready, steady, snap! Oh, look! A big crocodile! Oh, my goodness! Crocodile was inside the egg all the time. That was such a surprise, wasn't it? But look, he's following Mommy Duck, Mama, and the scarf that Mama Duck has knitted is round his neck. And one, two, three, four little duck booties on crocodile's feet. Well, that was such a surprise, wasn't it? At the end of the book, and that's what makes a great book. It's always an element of surprise, and that's why those Lift the Flat books are great. Great anticipation, wondering what's going to happen next. And you know, that reminds me of our song, Row, Row, Row Your Boat and the Crocodile. Are you ready? One, two, three. Row, row, row your boat Gently down the stream Merrily, 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 merrily Life is but a dream. Rock, Rock, rock your boat gently down the stream. And if you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! Did you all scream really loud? Well, that was certainly an odd egg. And you might remember we did a wonderful story called Five Little Chicks That Hatched. And I showed you exactly four weeks ago today, there were six little chicks. Well, imagine that was four weeks ago. Six little chicks that all hatched out of their eggs. And do you know, chicks can grow so big very, very quickly. Would you like to see what they look like now? Our six little chicks are now like many hens. Wait to see what they look like now. Here they are. We have our black one there just settling down that was born first and we have two over here in the corner one was born second and then we had our three little cream ones they were next and then we had another black one and that was our last born so to bring them all together all you have to do is hold some little chick crumbs and they love chick crumbs. It's their favourite food. So you can just put some in my hand like this and you'll see they'll all come over.
they just love to eat and there's the six all together one two three four five six and they enjoy some lovely chick crumbs They're very team. And they've got so big, haven't they? Since the last time we saw them. Just tiny little chicks. And they have great eyesight. wonderful to watch them. So that's our six little chicks that have grown so big now and it's great to see them again. And until our next story time, look after yourselves and take care and enjoy sharing some lovely books, so many different types of books that your child will really, really enjoy. So until then, bye bye for now. Bye bye everyone.